Oh yeah, shout, shout out to Tyrese Maxey. Um, I think I've seen him and John Morant are the only people to average like twenty five and five as the MIP. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Um, I think he's a valid winner based on how the awards has gone, like historically in terms of how they how they give it. Now, to me, you ask me who's improved the most from last season to this season is easily Kobe White, but I understand they're not going to give it to someone who's averaging below 20 when Maxi goes from what he did to becoming an all-star and he had 50 point games and 26 a game or whatever he averaged like I understand how it goes but I think the award should be who improved the most and to me that's clearly Kobe White so I think he was robbed I think he was robbed Mars the, the award then the names in the title it's the most improved who improved the most it's, cl- thought, it's but... clearly not Tyrese Maxi that was like there was worse than when I gave it to well, now I think maybe giving it to Jaw was a little worse than this one. Jaw was in still, year, year three, and they gave it to him. I think same thing, yeah. similar um, thing. Like when, when, like when CJ McCollum won most improved. So that's like that's the most improved player because CJ McCollum was a fringe rotation player. Then he came alive in the playoffs the year prior, and then he he became a full time starter. That's the most improved player. Jimmy Butler. That's the most improved player. Pascal Siakam. That's the most improved player. Giannis. Tyrese is not a most improved player. Yeah, Giannis is the most improved player. Like these guys, like you're giving it to guys who were fringe all stars who became all stars. But like, was he a fringe all star the year before? Last year when he was averaging what 20 next to Harden and Embiid and was shooting so, lights out from three. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like he was still good, but I wouldn't say like fringe all star. I don't, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be the first thing. If you if he didn't have Doc Rivers last year, James Harden, he probably would have been an all star. So in the, so in, so in the last ten years, Siakam, C.J. McCollum, and Drogic are the only guys not to make the All Star team and win Most Improved. But Drogic mm-hmm. actually was an All Pro. He was mm-hmm. also it's basically been been, been C.J. McCollum and um, Siakam, who actually made the All Star team next year. But again, the title of the award is Most Improved. So Cody White he takes double the shots he took last year. And he's still shooting the same percentage. He's taken th- almost three more threes this year. His three-point percentage went down. His free throw percentage also went down. But with that being said, Maxi, he also took a, a, he also took more shots this year, and his field goal percentage went down significantly. His three-point percentage went down. So when you're talking about the most improved, you didn't improve more than he did. Because your field goal percentage, your numbers actually went the other way. They didn't go up. Okay, your scoring average went up because now Maxi's averaging twenty, almost twenty six a game this season. Sure. And by the way, Mars Giannis, um, he was close to Ja. I think he was twenty. The year he won um, uh, MIP, I think he was like twenty three and five instead of twenty five. Mm-hmm. Right? I think he was twenty three and five that year. But anyway, when you talk about the most improved, and I hate to admit this because. I think Mars might be right. Singoon might have improved the most out of all of you guys. If you look at the number, he might have improved the most because that's what this is about. This is about the most improved player. When a guy in Tyrese Maxey, whose scoring average goes up, sure, but you take more shots and you're less efficient in almost everything. Same thing with, with, with Kobe White. When you take more shots, your field goal percentage doesn't decrease much. It's basically the same. But your three-point percentage goes down and your free throw percentage goes down. I mean, does that make you the most improved out of these guys? Is there anybody else in the league that has improved more than you guys? Because if you go in the other way, that doesn't mean you improved. Mm, I feel like I hear what you guys are saying. How I perceive it, for the most part, is that they're trying to find the next guy up when it comes to the most improved player. right? It's not only a just objective improvement but it's an improvement to being that next guy that next star that next one of the best players in the league to an extent not top 10 obviously and we don't got to drag it and that's what Tyreek Maxey is right now people are obviously considering one of the better point guards in the east one of the better point guards one of the best guards in the NBA right now and obviously he's balling the playoffs at the moment so that's kind of how I saw it like Victor Oladipo I thought he was the next guy when he was leading the Pacers Paul George same thing Pascal Siakam same thing CJ McCollum the co-star next to Damian Lillard like 
that's how I see it. When you become a most improved player, you're not only showing you're improved from who you are, a rotational role player, you're improving to becoming a star. You're improving to become an all-star. You're improving to become that next guy. So that's how I always perceive most improved player. You think that's how it should be, or is that just how you view it to be? I think that's how it should be because awards are supposed to highlight these people that are going to be somewhat faces of the NBA. These are the guys that's going to matter the most in the NBA moving forward. Moving forward, Tyrese Maxey is going to be that guy. John Morant, I don't think should have won it because he was already perceived a star from his rookie year. That's the only one I was like, I didn't like that one. But other than that, I think it's fine for Tyrese Maxey because, yes, I hear you. He was good on the 76ers, but obviously he was the guy behind James Harden. Man, you mentioned Doc Rivers. He was putting him on the bench, too. It was disgusting work. But now people perceive Tyrese Maxey as a guy, a star next to Joel Embiid you can win with. I don't know if the I, I'm not sure that the league is looking at like promoting guys as stars. Ryan Anderson was not promoted as a star. That's not what Ryan Anderson was. He was not next up. CJ McCollum was not next up. You know, Goran Dragic, you know, was not next up. I mean, this guy made the all pro team. He, he was, like, made the he was like 28 team. when he won it. Goran Dragic, right. right? Yeah. I mean, Julius Randle just won it like what a, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. That's a valid most improved yeah. player. Julius Randle. Right. Like, but that's someone who went from a good player to an all star. Like that's right. Very valid. All star, top ten in MVP, right. like, top all just, NBA, players. all pro, right? All exactly. But, but they all led the league. Team. Isn't but the league? But the league isn't looking at Julius Randle like they want to make him a star. They're not looking at him like that. So no, if you if you look at the last like, if if you look at the last like eight to ten years, that's kind of been the trend. I don't now. I don't want to say like superstar, but they're going yeah. with guys who have the potential to be multi all-stars you know oh, you, you can go back to it, it, oh, looks look, like look, a, it looks like a more recent trend with jimmy butler right yannis all the deep i mean like, what, what, were they trying to make cj uh, a star considering what the western conference was were they really trying to do that with cj i, I, I think, think he, he was. was they were pushing the best backcourt in the west thing steph yeah. playing damon cj that was happening right. it was wrong but that's what that's what was happening so i think in recent time that's how that's how it's been but you go back i don't think that's how it's always been no like when 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 you're looking at Scott Scowls winning it, Purvis Ellison, Don McLean, Isaac Austin, George Merson won it. I didn't even know he won most improved shout out to him. Um Darrell Armstrong, he was 30 Darryl. when he won it. Darryl Darryl Armstrong. Armstrong. He was 30 when he won it. Oh, I don't think you're pushing a future star at 30. Um Bobby Simmons won it in 2005. Like 28-year-old Hidu Turkoglu won it in Orlando. I knew that one. Aaron Brooks won it in Houston. He wasn't a future star. Shout out, A.B. Like, yeah, I think it's, been a, it's a, re, it's a, re, it's a recent... Aaron Brooks ain't yeah, from up yeah. there. Okay. That's, that's Frank it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a recent <laughs> occurrence that I guess that's the trend they've taken. Right, right. I would say around Monte, Monte Ellis... Um, Danny Granger, Kevin Love, obviously. The Ryan Anderson one, I'm with you. They might have had like some hope, but he's just it's Ryan Anderson. Right. But I agree. At the very least, since the 2010s, maybe late 2000s, this seems to be more of a case. I, I just did, when, we, when we talk about most improved, that's exactly what it should be, and it's it's, it's not what I again what I'm perceiving. Most improved player, like you just said, Damo. Julius Randle goes from a 19 and 10 guy to his numbers go up. Not only do his numbers go up, he's an all-star. Not only is he an all-star, he's an all-pro. I mean, I don't know how much more improved you can be than that. I mm. mean, that's the, that's the definition of most improved. Even though the league wasn't really pushing Julius Randle as a star, but that's kind of the idea when you talk about most improved. And a guy like Maxi, who, sure, Joel B went out of the lineup and his numbers suffered. With that being said, these guys, when you're talking about being, when you talk about improving, that's the idea. I feel like this is speak. I mean, and I don't want to just sit here and, and retweet a bunch of stuff that y'all said because I agree. I, I think it should have been Kobe White. I understand why it was Maxi, but it sucks it wasn't Kobe. But I think this just speaks on the lack of consistency when it comes to these awards in general. Um, I know the NBA has been talking about what they should do in terms of trying to get people to enjoy the regular season more, these in-season tournaments, play-in tournaments, all this other gobbledygook that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Fix the awards. 
Fix how awards are distributed. Fix how the awards are voted on. Fix the criteria for the awards. Let's actually do that because this is stuff that impacts the careers of players and the outlook of players going forward. For the rest of time, people are going to look back and try to tell the story of basketball during a portion of time. And when you look back and you have a bunch of bias voting, a bunch of agenda pushing for the voting, it's really going to how much weight can this shit hold for real in, in 20 years if the voters are, are deemed not taking it serious? If everyone, if people start growing this this Mars-like attitude towards these awards where it's like, this shit don't matter. Like, who, who, who cares about these awards? Because y'all not taking it. The voters aren't serious. These awards aren't serious. So I feel like that's what this really speaks more to, in my opinion. Oh,